Hey everybody, today we are talking about two-step equations and we're going to go through how to solve them, all right? And the way we solve them is by finding x, all right? So this is an example of a two-step equation and you see how we have x here? x is a variable, meaning we, we don't know what it is. So that's why we're trying to solve for it, okay? And the way we solve for it is by giving all of the numbers to the opposite side of the equation, okay? Because what we want to end up with is x equals some number, all right? I'm just going to put a question mark because we don't know what it is right now, all right? So, even though it says two-step equations, I like to think of it in three steps, okay? And we already did the first step, all right? The first step is figuring out what side x is on and figuring out, all right, what side do we need to get all the numbers to? We need to get them to the opposite side of x, all right? So there, first step done, all right? We know we need to get all the numbers to this side of the equation because we have x on this side. Now, the second part of solving these equations involves adding or subtracting, okay? So, what we need to do first is we need to take the number that's not paired with x, all right? And that number, if we look here, is negative four, all right? So in order to get rid of negative four, we need to take the opposite of a negative. And what's the opposite of a negative? Positive. positive. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take x, all right, we're gonna take positive four, okay? Because negative four plus positive four equals zero. But here's a really important thing that we need to remember when we're going through these types of problems. We need to remember that what we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other. Because, let's say I give you guys all five pieces of candy, if I take two away from Sydney, she's not going to be pretty happy that you guys have five pieces of candy. So then I'm also going to have to take away two pieces from each of you guys to make it even. So, I have to also add four to this side of the equation, all right? Which means we're going to get 2x plus 0, because negative 4 plus 4 equals 0. And what's 16 plus 4, Ashley? 20. Right. All right, so now we have, this is just 0. Last step, we're just going to multiply or divide, okay? So this 2x is equal to 2 times x, okay? So then what's the opposite of multiplication? Division. Right. So we're going to divide by 2. But when we do the one side, we have to choose to the other side. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. All right. And what is 20 divided by 2, Jotham? 10. Right. And we know that anything times 1 is the same thing. So we know x equals 10. There. Simple. To help you guys remember this process, though, I did come up with a song for you guys. It's on the sheet I passed out, all right? So, if you guys can pick up the rhythm and join in with me, and we'll work through a problem so you can see how it works, okay? But the basic tempo is like this, and it starts P, A, R, T, Y, dance party on which side? Where's the party at? Well, it's going to be on the opposite of X, all right? So we know it's going to be on that side, right? So the next verse is P. A R T Y, dance party on this side. Where's the party at? Let's add or subtract. All right, so we're going to subtract. So we have a positive on this side. We're doing to one side what we do to the other. And the last verse, P. A R T Y, dance party on this side. We're, now we're almost done. So, let's multiply or divide, right. And what's 9 divided by 3, Sydney? 3. Alright. And there's our answer. Alright. That is how you solve a two-step equation. Does anybody else have any questions? Alright. Dance party! Just kidding. <laughs> Yeah? Okay. <laughs> P. A R T Y, dance party on which side? Where's the party at? The opposite of X. 